You're just a young man who was struck by lightning. So why come to me? I'll move around it in the opposite direction! Cut off the legs! Body may not be able to handle those feats. You'll die. I have to try! You think because you can run real fast that you're invincible? You're not. You're just a kid. My kid. I'm not your kid, Joe. And you're not my father. My father sitting in Iron Heights. Wrongfully convicted. You were wrong about it. And you're wrong about this. Now, I may not be able to help him, but if I can save someone from a burning building or stop some armed thieves, I'm gonna do it. And you can't stop me. So don't try. I can barely fight one metahuman, let alone six. Joe was right. I'm in way over my head. Yeah, I'm fast, but I am no warrior. To fight death. This was a mistake. Maybe it takes more to accept it. I don't know if it's crazy to think that you can hear me. Something's coming, Joe. I saw you. Caitlin. I saw everyone die. I have to make a sacrifice. But at the same time, I can't help but feeling like it means I'm giving up. Yeah. Because of this. Our badges. Your emblem. They're symbols of the strength that we're charged with. To get back out there. And we don't make the choice to die. We would never choose to do that. But when we hear the call of duty, we're willing to make that sacrifice. That's not giving up there. That's what you call resilience. And I know you'd have plenty of that. Of course I want to kill him, Joe. Having a bad day, I Bear? I need you to kill him. I get to be the hero. You're safe now. So that's my story. I've spent my whole life searching for the impossible, never imagining that I would become the impossible. Actually, she's not.